Well, I guess the news of the day, I don't know if you heard the interview I did yesterday with Eric Adams. It's made worldwide news from Australia to every newspaper here in New York. And specifically, I brought up Tiffany Caban running for council because of Curtis. And I said, you know, we got all these people and all they do is badmouth the police, demonize the police, try to convince mm-hmm. little kids that police are bad. You think we'll ever get to the point where one day those people don't get the police help that people like you and I who support the police get? Well, he didn't disagree with me. And by the way, Tiffany Caban came out today. She heard the interview and she lashed out at me and and Eric and anybody else who said, hey, we're allowed to say that. It's the truth. Police don't treat black and brown people the same way. So Tiffany Caban doubled down today. Me? I'm glad I said what I said. What about you? Absolutely. I was you know, reading the Daily News this morning. They're somehow trying to make it like the wrong thing you said, and they're trying to. They, they said they, they that, said that I've got a black. Got yeah, they, they said I've got a black list of people. What are they talking right. about? All right. Now listen. What you're saying makes perfectly logical sense. I mean, listen. As, as the law goes, you got to protect everybody. But it is really annoying to think. Okay, some guy like you who's out there doing everything you can for the cops is going to get the same protection as her, who does nothing but downgrade the cops, uh, create problems for the cops. And as people like her, that's actually put cops' lives in danger. Because, listen, there's 35,000 cops, whatever the number is. The fact is, they can have all the guns they want. They can't protect themselves if the people have turned against them. And what's happening here is now people like Kaman and AOC and others are turning people against the cops and they're turning people against the cops in the neighborhoods that need the cops the most and where there's the most violence and where uh, not only their lives are at risk, but the cops' lives are at risk. So, no, what she's doing is disgrace. 